yeah, call it because in hindsight, it's not great to do 12 in the morning and then try and do a track session. <laughs> Monday morning, good start of the week because I've done 2 by 5 k and sort of tempo effort, maybe a little bit higher. So I did the first 5k and it was probably around about 1845-ish and then half a mile recovery. And I did the second 5k which is around about 1825. So yeah, it was quite a good session, quite enjoyed it. So we're going to have an easy day tomorrow. And then we're going to do some speed work on Wednesday because I've been neglecting it of late. So we're going to do some probably mile reps. So yeah, looking forward to that. <laughs> Monday afternoon, so I brought the sessions forward this week a day just because I had a few days off last week while I was visiting family. So I did the 2x5k tempo this morning and then just on the hill reps this afternoon after work. I'm feeling a bit tired but otherwise felt good. Just gotta keep going. We've got about four weeks of training left I think, maybe three and a half and then we'll go on the taper. So I just need to focus on holding in a marathon pace now, I think. We're not far away now, so just gotta stay focused and just keep getting the sessions in. Wednesday morning, I'm down in Aylesby about an hour outside of London with work. And it's a typical British day, <laughs> the typical British weather's returned. So it's drizzly, the temperature's dropped a bit, and it's windy. <laughs> so I planned to run yesterday, but that didn't happen because there was an accident on the M1. So my five hour journey down turned into seven. I didn't get to the hotel until nearly eight o'clock. By that point I was shattered, so I didn't bother running. And I'm quite tired this morning, it's a bit of a slog. So I'm just trying to get through it, but yeah, I could have quite easily stayed in bed this morning, but I'm here, I'm out, I'm running, ah, oh, it's hard work. <laughs> Finished work for the day so I thought I'd get on Google and see if there's any tracks or anywhere interesting to run to do my session so I've managed to find a track which was only a couple of miles away from the hotel actually so that was quite good. It's called Stoke Mandeville I think stadium and then um, they've got an Olympic standard in their own words track so here we are. So the aim is to hopefully do some 800 but I'm not going to hold my breath because I did 12 miles this morning. Not realising that there was a track so close by otherwise I would have done a shorter run this morning so that I could give my all in this track session. But we'll see what I've got and um, yeah. I'm going to do a couple of mile warm up and then we will get into it. So we'll just kind of go with feel, see how it is and if I've got something in the legs then we'll, um, we'll maybe push towards 8 or 10. 800 meter reps, but if I'm struggling a bit, I might just do some to kind of get the legs through it, but then yeah, call it because in hindsight, it's not great to do 12 in the morning and then try and do a track session. So yeah, let's give it a go. I must admit, it's a nice track. 
it's, if, it's different to our track at home, so I can see what they're saying about the claim that it's the same surface as what they, they use for Olympics and top class athletics because it is different. But yeah, I'm not, I haven't got spikes on, and I think I might slide around a bit. <laughs> It's a good solo session in the bag. Whew. Try to go last rep, fast rep, but nah, legs are shot. Oh. So I did eight times 800, really happy with that. And considering I did 12 mile this morning, I'm not gonna complain because we're all under 240. So yeah, massive confidence boost because over the last month or so, I've really started to doubt the, the target of sub 245. I've just been, Going through the motions with training, after a real positive Darlington, I felt like I was flying, I felt effortless, and I was really enjoying it. And then I started to kind of doubt myself, doubt what I was doing. I was worried I was gonna get injured. I was going through the motions like half-heartedly and not really putting it in and, and going after the sessions that I should have been doing. I just hope that I still got enough time to turn that around because with speed work, you can just do some sharpening and it can make a massive difference and you can do that over two, three weeks. So I'm just hoping if I get back to speed work, because I haven't lost any speed by the looks of it. It was just a big blow of confidence. Yeah, if I can just keep building on this and, and see what happens, but yeah, hopefully it's a step in the right direction this week and then um, can start feeling positive about it again and, and not worrying about the fact that, oh God, I've got to run sub 245 and at the moment I don't even feel like I could run like half of that at the intensity that I need to because realistically I need to be able to go through halfway roughly in around 122.30 I usually try and negative split so if I'm a little bit off that I'm not too fussed as long as I can pick it up but I was I was worrying that I wouldn't be able to pick it up because I was thinking that 122 and a half is going to be pretty hard going but yeah feeling much more confident after tonight so onwards and upwards That's a big day ticked off, so that's 20 miles for a day, so 12 this morning. And then eight, including warm up and cool down tonight. I'm going home tomorrow, so hopefully it'll be five hours tomorrow and just get home at a reasonable time. And uh, see Nikki and Avery before Avery goes to bed. And then I'm um, also managed to get a good night's sleep. Because I'm going to need it, because it's about 530 miles in the last two, three days. And um, last week I did about 700 miles. Just um, coming to London and back, so yeah, it's, uh, it is tiring and re recovery is definitely important, so fingers crossed I can uh, get an early night tomorrow and um, recover from all this. Thursday morning, feeling actually okay, which is the surprise really. <laughs> I mean, I'm tired, but I think it's a didn't get enough sleep tired rather than a tired from yesterday's like sessions. So definitely a positive. Saturday afternoon, just done a three mile tempo, half mile recovery, two mile tempo. Wasn't really up for it to be honest, just cause it's quite windy. So I knew it was going to be a bit of a suffer fest. So instead of doing five straight off, I just broke it up. And even then it was still hard work. So I was averaging probably around about six minute mile pace, maybe a little bit under. But yeah, done in the bank. It's a little bit of a bonus session this week, just because I did a session on Monday, two by 5K. And then I did track on Wednesday. And then I've done this sort of split tempo today. Tough old week. So happy to 
be almost at the end of it and moving into next week and last night I, did, I went out last night as well I didn't take my camera just because it was really dark and I was pushed for time so I just went straight out the door did 10 miles just kept it easy did, looped along the coast Sunday afternoon, so I'm doing an afternoon for a change just because I've been painting today. So my sister-in-law is uh, moving into her house soon. So we said that we'd go around and paint the kids' bedrooms. So that's what I've been doing all day. Oh, I come closer. Oh, 